everybody and welcome to Loot Crate for June 2015. It is a very special Loot Crate, so let's skip any kind of introductions and jump right on in. Today we have a whole bunch of shit that looks like the Terminator. Or Johnny Five, I'm not 100% sure. Let's see what we got. First we start out with the t-shirt. We have another mashup. It's 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 another one of those mashup shirts. Yes, it's Optimus Prime in the famous Tron pose. Obviously, without the uh, well, I guess they could have had a female Autobot in there. There were female Autobots. They could have kept going with it, but no. Yeah, whatever. I guess I might be a little bit grumpy. That is actually a really nice looking shirt. That's actually really cool. They've gone back to the really thin cotton though. Like, it's super thin and completely see-through. Oh, God, you can see that on camera now. <laughs> uh, okay, okay, I'll, I'll do this. I'm not pulling on it. I'm not stretching on it whatsoever. It's just hanging under its own power, and you can see straight through it. So, yeah, um, unlike the previous few shirts that they've had, they, uh, they've gone back to the really crappy, thin cotton. Hmm. Alrighty, then. Moving along, we have... Terminator Genesis. That is the, uh, the 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 new movie that I've never even seen, and don't even know if it's out in theaters yet, or if it's out on DVD, or fuck, I don't know. It's 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 another one of those movies that I know nothing about because I don't care anymore. But we have it's a T eight hundred skull. That's actually really fucking sweet that is really freaking awesome I, it's it's squishy it's like a rubber ducky it has the hole on the bottom it would have been hilarious if it actually squeaked but it doesn't oh i'm disappointed but it, yeah it's it's that's actually badass okay that's freaking awesome Oop, there we go and we have, and I recognize this thing right off the bat. This is from Terminator 2, though it says Chronicle. So is that, um, yeah, the, is that from the Sarah, Chron Chron Sarah Connor Chronicles? Yes. Uh, but it's actually the microchip from Terminator 2 as a keychain. I like that too. This is actually really awesome. This, this, there, there is actually a potential. I might actually use a keychain now. That, that's a first in a very, very long time. I usually hate keychains. Here we have the badge, which is a circuit design. A very, very, it's, it's traces. Simplistic traces, but traces. Interesting. Uh, what are you? You are a purse. Seriously, it's, it's a purse with the... Is it the exact same thing? Yes, it is the exact same thing. <laughs> Check it. Let's see if I can do that without the glare. It is the exact same design. Okay, that's interesting. It's a pencil pouch, I think. Um, I know we had these when I was like in elementary school. It, it, they're pencil pouches. And that's what you would do. You would put all your pens and pencils in here and your erasers and such, and you would go to school with them. And that's about it. Okay, well, you uh, we can't win them all, I guess. What are you? I'm, I'm very curious about you. You are an iron-on patch of some sort that has an owl logo. Let's actually try to get these things in frame for once. I have the camera pointed up higher than I normally do. Um, I don't know this logo. I hope the book will tell me what the logo is. I guess we'll find out here shortly. And of course, here's the book, which we will get to momentarily because there's things underneath it. There's this padded thing. Oh, wow. It is a Borderlands, Borderlands 2, I think that is. I'm fairly sure Zero is in Borderlands 2 and not in Borderlands 1. But it's a giant fucking mouse pad. It is. It's a giant freaking mouse pad. And as far as I know, Zero is just wearing a suit. He's not a robot. Hmm. 
I will have to read the book and see what the actual theme is because uh, Zero's not a robot, not as far as I know. What are you? You are actually something uh, I think my dad would actually enjoy. Uh, from, from Battlestar Galactica, the range sheet, command issue cross rank service for range facility use only. Range facility? Mm, is that a military term I don't recognize? Or is it actually what I think it is? And it is. It's a gun range poster. Hey, at least this actually fits. It's a Cylon. It's a robot. So apparently the theme is robots. Let's see. That's a Cylon that I recognize from the new Battlestar Galactica, of course. And then we have another Cylon. It's exactly the same thing. I was actually kind of hoping they had the old-fashioned looking Cylons on there as well, but they don't. You know, I know the old-fashioned looking Cylons were in the new Battlestar Galactica, so I was kind of hoping that the old-fashioned Cylons would be in there. And then we have stickers. Uh, Viva La Nerdolution. Kidoki. And uh, it's a nerd robot, and then the nerd poster that was ripped off of the uh, chain, yeah, the Hope poster. Hope poster? Change poster? Fuck, I forget. That Obama poster that uh, got sued because they, like, painted a picture of Obama in the same position as somebody else who took a picture of Obama. I don't understand. I don't care. Um, yeah, just a couple of stickers about nerddom and that kind of thing. And uh, it's apparently some form of convention. Nerd HQ 2015. I got no freaking clue. Never heard of it before. And is there anything else? No, there is nothing else. So let's take a look. Well, let's take a look at the box first. We have the Terminators here. They sure as hell look like the T-8. No, do they look like the T-800? I don't remember this cross piece here. That must be from Genesis. Uh, the horrible, 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 horrible misspelling of Genesis. So, yeah, I don't know. Anyway, so let's take a look. Uh, this month's theme is cyber. I'm sorry, that... that uh. All right, I'm back. I just had to go sulk for a little while. Uh, because, I'm sorry, the, this month's theme is cyber. Okay, we got robot fucking everything, except for zero here. And they go with cyber as the theme. They could have at least gone with robot and pretended that this was a mistake. Or just, uh, oh, I'm sorry, the theme is just terrible. That's just stupid as crap. Uh, let's see what we got in here. More human than human is our motto. The theme is cyber, and they have a robotic theme, or a robotic quote. Ugh. Oh, look, it's the fucking inflatable fucking crown. Uh, Mr. Robot. Who's Mr. Robot? Isaac Asimov? I don't know. Don't care. I'm a little depressed now because of the theme. The theme is terrible. Uh, some legendary space real-time strategy game. Uh, Homeworld. I think I've heard of that. Hmm, whatever. Uh, today's, or this month's Mega Crate includes uh, an NVIDIA Shield tablet. Have one. An NVIDIA GTX 960 graphics card. Mm, couldn't go for the 980. Eh, well, save a couple hundred bucks. Uh, border ch Borderlands loot chest full of comics and swag signed by the creative team. Again, not cyber. I really don't think I don't I don't think Zero counts as cyber either. Yes, okay, he wears a head he wears a mask with a heads up display, but I don't think he qualifies as cyber. Uh, anyways, so you get uh, the loot crate, you get uh, claptrap, a PC. A model of a ship that I halfway recognize. Holy shit, it's a claptrap plush. It's it's a squishy claptrap. Interesting. Move along. Let's take a look at uh, creator of Nerd HQ. Singularity fun. Ooh, moving along. Let's actually take a look. Exclusive Nerd HQ sticker sheet. Okie dokie. 
Transformers The Grid Contest. Upload a fun creative picture of you or your friend recreating the pose from the Prime t-shirt, including in this month's crate. Okay, seriously, if I could actually pull this off, and I can't, so I'm sorry, but if I could pull this off, I would actually pay somebody money to recreate this pose, but with one of the discs from Tron in the actual Tron outfit. And just recreate the actual poster. The actual Tron poster, not the not the t-shirt. Anyways, it's the exclusive Prime t-shirt. Moving along. Uh, exclusive Borderlands Zero game mat. So a very large mouse pad. Um, whatever. Exclusive Terminator Genesis Endoskull replica. That is actually pretty cool. Uh, of course, I don't know what it actually is. Uh, like, I don't know if it's actually supposed to be a T-800, but it sure as fuck looks like a T-800. And that's what I'm going to take it as, because guess what? I haven't seen Genesis. I have, however, seen, um, well, all the other Transformers. And I was watching Terminator 2 yesterday. Uh, let's see. Exclusive Terminator Genesis Brain Chip and, or Brain Chip Keychain. Chronicle Collectibles. Uh, basically the keychain from Transformers 2, or Terminator 2. God damn it, I can't believe I mixed that up. Uh, behind the scenes looter look. Oh, that's all the heads. Okie dokie. Let's see. Future replicant cyborg logo patch AB emblem. Inspired by the sinister biotech company that made some of our favorite film replicants. Wait, what? So the company is called Future Replicant Corporate? Or is that like um, from like uh, 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 shit, Blade Runner Tyrell no that's not the Tyrell logo I know the Tyrell logo is that the Tyrell logo yeah. fuck I don't know uh, Battlestar Galactica Cylon Target poster set and the exclusive Golden Dark Circuit gadget pouch it is a fucking pencil pouch okay so that was uh, that was a good start for Loot Crate up until I got to the theme which is cyber they could have totally gone with robot gotten rid of the uh zero on the game mat and just totally just gone with robot and been done with it seriously it would have been a much much better theme it would have made way the hell more sense but no oh well so let us take a look and see as is tradition now what stays out of the box and what goes back into the box to sit in obscurity forever? Well, the game mat is going back in the box because I don't give two craps about it. I really don't. I liked Borderlands. I, didn't, I wasn't a fan of Borderlands 2, not too much anyways. I got bored with it and left. Obviously, the book goes back in the box. Um, Zero, yes, was the character that I always played as because he was a sniper and I was good at sniper. But... Again, I have a mouse pad, and I have a better mouse pad. It's the Legend of Zelda one I got a while ago. So, yeah, not terribly interesting for me. Uh, the patch is actually going to go in the maybe pile because I've got to figure out if that's what I think it is. If it is the Tyrell patch, then it's actually going to be used. If it is just Future Corp, then I'm going to be disappointed and thrown in the box. Because I have no idea what the hell Future Corp is. Uh, we got the pin, which of course goes back in the box. But are you? You are the stickers. Don't care about the stickers. Definitely don't care about the pencil pouch. Uh, the T-800 skull, that's staying out. That sure as fuck is staying out. The cyber chip is staying out. That actually might end up on my keychain. Uh... No, I don't think I care about the posters. I have plenty of posters. And they're not exactly great posters to begin with, honestly. They're not good posters. It's just like target practice at a range. That's a little disappointing. And the shirt, while I'm mildly disappointed how it was, the shirt, I don't think I've ever chucked a shirt. So, out of all of those, we get three and a maybe. So, I will say to you guys as always... Keep playing the game and have fun.